that's damn good. <laughs>Hey guys, this is my review for Stranger Things, the newest series that's on Netflix, and I'm basically going to sound like everyone else, but if you have not watched this show, holy crap, you are missing out. I love stuff from the 80s. I love movies and the culture, and this film literally combined the best of every single sci-fi, whether it was child-friendly or horror or adult, 80s movie and combine them into one. The idea of a rural town, a small little town that has something really big happen to it, sci-fi wise, and how the town reacts and what happens to the characters. Now, the first thing I really want to compliment this show for is its style. From the opening freaking title credit, I was hooked. The Doofer brothers, these two brothers really knew what they were doing. They had an amazing uh, attention to detail not only with the music and the style of how it was shot but also to the product placement and everything else like everything is down packed and the kids the kids are probably one of the best characters in the film and not just because they revolve around them but they're really well acted and they have different traits and you've seen a lot of the stuff that happens in this movie is stuff you've seen in parts from different 80s sci-fi or sort of similar films but they still are able to tweak it a little bit just to make it their own it's not it's not just an homage but it's its own original idea and it's something you could see that could have happened and been made in the 80s there's so much john carpenter references there's so many like they basically outright show the thing at one point it's even a poster that's in the kids basement where they play D, &D which yeah, it's awesome, but how are 10 year old, 12 year old kids playing, watching and having a poster for an extremely graphic movie at the, to at the time, still is in my opinion. Either way, the film's story is really well done. It's about a boy who goes missing and the friends who try to go find him, they find this girl instead who's very quiet but has powers. And how she comes to get these powers and the whole conspiracy behind her and what took the kid is so good I'm not going to reveal any of it to you because you have to watch it. It is amazing. Not only is it a fantastic mystery, but there's parts that scare you. The opening part where the kid is being chased by something, I'm trying not to reveal anything, but that sequence where he looks at, the, there's a part where he looks at the window and he just sees the shadow of it, and I just how they filmed it, I'm just like, I loved this series. I binged it. I literally watched it in two days, and I can't wait to see if these brothers do something more. In all honesty, I actually think it's good how it's, I think it's good how it ends. I actually think it's perfect with how it ends. I don't think they should go any further. I would love to if they did, but I'm pretty satisfied with how it ends. The characters in this show are amazing. Renona Ryder is really good, but really my favorite character is the Sheriff. The Sheriff is my favorite character by far because of what he goes through. At first he's this guy who clearly doesn't looks like he doesn't really give much about of his job. But you start to hear this past about him, and the further and further he gets into the investigation, the more his past comes up, and the final resolution with his character is so well edited. I loved how his character's arc completes. I, I thought it was so well done. The whole mystery aspect, like I said, is also very well done. The only thing I could say that's probably a negative of this is that there's this romantic subplot with the girl, with one of the boy's sisters. And at first, the guy she's with, it kind of has a triangle. And oddly enough, it doesn't really annoy me. And how it ends actually doesn't, because it's totally like an 80s film, how it ends, too. But what's so interesting is that her boyfriend, Steve, uh, you don't want to like him at first. You really don't. But he changes. And the thing is, we're so set with these stereotypes of these type of characters that you still don't want to like him, even though he's being a good guy. And admittedly, how his character arc ended, I was still a little bit miffed because I'm like, damn you, Steve, with your fantastic hair. That's a small drop in the hat in comparison to the rest of the series. Everything about it will make 80s fans scream. It's so good. 
Stranger Things gets a 7 out of 7 from me. I haven't been that hooked into a series since Supernatural Season 5 and Season 2. Honestly, it's so good. Watch it. It is a fantastic show. It's perfect length, too. Eight episodes was exactly the amount of time they needed. You could probably count a million times how many references there are to other films of its nature. But either way, guys, that's all from me. Hope you enjoy this review. I'll see you guys next time.